Crepes 2019.
Distinguished panelists and speakers, artists and respected delegates, ladies and gentlemen, Namaste, Sachri Akal, and a very good evening to you. I'm deeply honored to welcome you to the first ever TEDS conference, a conference with one simple aim to tell the story of the Hindu American. <clears throat> so, what is TEDS about? 500 years. Almost 500 years after Columbus thought he had reached the shores of India in his discovered America. They came from different corners of the world, initially uh, as a trickle, then as a steady stream, which then turned to a deluge in the early 90s as America was going through a transition from the world economy to the information-based modern economy. Over the span of 50 years or so, the Hindu Americans have integrated themselves into the fabric of America, enriching it with their own special colors, and yet, and yet retaining their very special, their own, their own identity, their own special identity. As Hindus. As physicians, scientists, business leaders, entrepreneurs, educators, artists, and experts in many, many other fields, the Hindu Americans are making strong contribution to the life in America. However, as they got on with the business of establishing themselves and making these wonderful contributions, they never found the time as a community to look back and see the role that they had taken until this moment. Thanks to a number of visionaries in the Hindu American community, uh, the seed of uh, threads started germinating some seven years ago. However, we did not find it in mass at that time. Uh, so the concept was percolating for a number of years until last year about this time, uh, we started to give it a concrete shape and Threads 2019 was born. Over this intervening 12 months or so, there have been literally, uh, I can't say hundreds of uh, conference calls and probably scores and scores of volunteers and uh, uh, organizers all over the country come together and uh, work day and night to put this event together. <clears throat> One such visionary is a very dear uh, friend of mine, 
I, am, I, and I in fact, I consider him a mentor, and that is, of course, Dr. Abhas Thana. <coughs> He's the president of the World Hindu Council of America. Uh, if there is one person who uh, can be credited bringing this conference together, then I would say it's him. Um, and it really saddens me to say that he is unable to be here tonight uh, because he held his, he had a serious health situation uh, three weeks ago. He is doing well. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, he simply cannot be here with us uh, tonight. But knowing him, he's fully engaged. He's, as uh, this live stream is going out, I'm sure he's sitting in the comfort of his living room and watching us. So I would just ask you to please give him a little bit of So what are we trying to accomplish with this conference? The answer lies in the three simple words embedded in the tagline of this conference. Share, appreciate, and engage. <laughs> to share the story of the Hindu-American, to talk about their journey, their trials, their tribulations, but most importantly, their contributions to the land that they adopted, the United States of America. In addition to that, to appreciate the fact that this land opened its doors and its hearts and gave us the opportunity to be here, to be something, and to, uh, to, to, to be able to make these contributions that we're going to talk about. And most importantly, we want to engage in a conversation with the society at large on how together uh, we can make the country make the country even stronger and march towards a better future for all. How are we going to do it? Uh, we are fortunate to have been able to bring together what I would consider a galaxy of eminent panelists and speakers under one roof on one platform. Uh, if you look at the, uh, the CV of uh, these speakers and panelists, it is simply amazing. Uh, each one of them comes with tremendous amount of accomplishments. Over the next day and a half, they will participate in panel discussions on topics ranging from arts and literature, business and enterprise, technology and entrepreneurship, medicine, and so on and so forth, you, you see in the agenda. In these panels, they will attempt to tease out a picture of what the Hindu Americans have been uh, doing for the last 50 years or so, and where they're going forward, how they're going to uh, make, what their role is going to be going forward in making this country stronger and even better. I have no doubt that these will be stimulating, inspiring, and enlightening conversations and I, for one, am uh, looking forward to that. I would like to acknowledge that we have a very packed agenda, and is it ever packed? For instance, we have three panels before lunch tomorrow, three after lunch, and then two more after dinner. So it really is uh, going to be a busy day, and then, then, of course, two on Sunday, followed by the closing session, as you, as you know. And incidentally, we've been able to find time to have three wonderful musical performances, one tonight following the inauguration, and then uh, one every morning uh, over the next two days. So, all in all, uh, well, I, I should also point out, how could I forget, we have some 40 posters on different subjects uh, displayed in the, in the galleries outside, and a wonderful uh, exhibition of Madhuban art uh, is also there for your enjoyment. All in all, there's plenty of food for the brain, for the heart, for the soul, and of course for the stomachs. So let me close by saying that the entire Threads team is delighted that you're all here. On behalf of the entire team, I invite you 
to partake in everything this conference has to offer, share, appreciate, and engage towards a better future together. Thank you.